Hey there fellow physics student does. Today we're going to be working on the uh, ground to wall soccer kick problem um, through the physics aviary website. And so in this problem we're given um, a couple values and we're trying to find the time that it takes for the ball to go into transit and hit the wall here as well as how high the ball is when it does hit the wall. So we are given the initial velocity here, which is 21 meters per second, the angle theta, which is 46.2 degrees, the gravity, which is 10.9 meters per second squared, and the range of the ball is the hidden value. And for that, we're going to look at the wall here and see that the range is about um, 20.1 I would say right here so let's go ahead and fill in those answers so range is 20.1 gravity is 10.9 meters per second squared the um, initial velocity is 21 and the angle is 46.2 okay so the first order of business here is finding the time of um, the time that the ball is in flight and we're going to use the uh, r equals vx t equation and we have the range which is 20.1 but we need the velocity in the x to find the time and through that we're going to use uh, the, our, our information given we have the initial velocity and the theta so we're going to say that the v, the velocity in the x equals the initial velocity times the cosine of theta, which is true. And that's going to be 21 times cosine of 46.2. And if I type that into my calculator, we get that the velocity in the x is equal to 14.5 meters per second. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode and not radian mode or else your answers won't match up here. Um, and so since we have this velocity in the x, we're going to plug it in here, 14.5 times t. And if we divide both sides by 14.5, we get the time that the ball is in flight. And that's going to be uh, 20.1 divided by 14.5, which is... Uh, 1.4 seconds and so now we have the time and so the next thing that we have to do is convert the time into milliseconds so that when we put it in the computer it uh, matches up with our answers so let me just erase this here and to get milliseconds we're gonna divide the time in seconds divided we're gonna divide the time by a thousand sorry I was getting a little uh, tripped up with my words there and I did it again we're gonna multiply the time by a thousand not divide so sorry for the confusion we're gonna multiply 1.4 times a thousand to give us the milliseconds and that's gonna be equal to 1400 milliseconds Okay, and now that we have the time, we're going to find the um, height that the ball is going to be at when it hits the wall. And we're going to use the uh, h equals uh, the initial velocity in the y times time plus uh, 1 half at squared. And to find the velocity in the y, it's going to be the initial velocity times the sine of theta which is 21 times the sine of 46.2 
and that is going to equal fifteen point two meters per second. Okay, and so through that we're going to plug the vy into this equation. So the height we're going to find, and that's going to be 15.2 times the time, which is 1.4, plus 1 half. And the acceleration we want here is, we want it to be a negative acceleration. So 1 half and then negative 10.9 times, I'm running out of room here, 1.4 squared. And so 15.2 times 1.4 is 21.28 minus 5.45 times 1.96. Okay, so minus 10.68. And so the height is 21.28 minus 10.68, which is 10.6 meters. And we have all our answers here, so let's go ahead and enter them into the uh, website. All we need is the time and the height for our answers and your name. So the time of flight in milliseconds was 1400 and the height was 10.6 meters. And there goes the ball flying off. And we can see that our calculations are correct. So if you have any questions feel free to email me and hopefully your answers uh, work out as well. Um, and thanks for watching. See you on the next example.